So we want really computer programming to reach everyone, starting with young kids. We think of coding as a literacy, and that means you want to understand how the world works. Just like reading and writing, think of that for a second. So reading and writing is not just so you can become a professional journalist or a novelist. Some of us will, but some of us, most of us will not. The same is true for coding. Some of us will become software engineers or programmers, but most of us will not. And we want to learn how to code anyway so you can manipulate and understand what's going on around us so we can really think in abstract, problem-solving, creative ways. You want to try it out? Yeah, let's try to see it over. Oh, he's spinning. <laughs> we designed Scratch Junior and Kibo for children five to seven years old to learn how to code, to learn how to program and to make their own projects. So Scratch Junior is a programming language. It's introductory. The beauty of Scratch Junior is you can program using a concept that we talk, which is block programming. So it's figures, it's icons. So remember, we are working for a tool for little kids who don't know how to read and write, but they're starting to learn. And the skill is in putting together a sequence of commands. The beauty of Kibo is that it's a robot system that you don't need a screen. You program it with wooden blocks. And each block represents a command for the robot because there is a tag and you can scan them one by one and then your robot will move on the floor. And you also get to learn about sensors and motors and electronics in a different way. One of the things I love the most about this work is that I get to work with, with students and colleagues and undergrads and grads and postdocs. And the work happens in constant interaction with children, with families, with teachers. And for us, it's very important to do research that's applied. We love to write journal papers and books, but we also love it when our technologies and our curriculum is out there in the world having a real impact. The question mark. See the question mark receives the red one? Seven or eight? Seven or eight? Most teachers and parents their kids are, are growing up in a world very differently than what we experienced. And, and this situation creates an urgency that um, school can't be the same as it was when we were in school. And we've been piloting Marina's robots and programming language for 10 years at this point. We integrate both Kibo and Scratch Junior because it fills a need specifically with coding but also thinking more broadly of how they relate to technology, how they see it as a tool and as something that they want to use to express themselves and, and to contribute to the world. So my kids talk about Scratch Junior, they love Scratch Junior. If they've done it in a particular day, they'll oftentimes tell me they did it and say that they love it. They're growing up in a world where technology and being facile with technology will be so, so important for them. So the idea that coding is something fun, it's something natural, is something for them, is something that I love because I feel like whether they go into technology or they go into something else, they won't feel intimidated, they won't feel like it's not theirs, and they'll feel real ownership over it, which is delightful to me. Any tool that will help you think in new ways, it's a tool we want in education. And coding is just another avenue for thinking in new ways. And how it's going to be introducing the world of schooling and education is really not so much about the technology, it's about curriculum and about policies. We started a pilot project with the Norfolk Public Schools in the state of Virginia. The state of Virginia is the first state to actually mandate computer science starting in kindergarten. We've been training teachers there. We're starting in you know, K-2, that's our area. So it's not just coding as STEM or as a problem-solving skill, it's really coding as a way to think, as a way to learn a new language that you can apply to any topic. I feel like Norfolk has an opportunity to be a leader as a district for the entire state, if not only for the entire state of Virginia, but for the entire nation, because we're building a whole new content area that has never been in elementary school before. So whatever comes in between the if and the end and the end if is going to be what happens. So this program will then you know that it's all seeing our elementary teachers taking in this new Kibo and Scratch Junior program has been hard work, but it's been fun to be a part of something that's much like we are pioneers. And so you have to believe that just takes 
the hard work of someone like Dr. Bears and her dev tech team, and lots of support and modeling for the teachers. <laughs> yeah, I love coding and I didn't even know I loved it until I started coming to these trainings and I wish that I would have been exposed to it at an earlier age. Programming Cubo was really fun. I think that students need that appeal to their fun side with their learning so that it's not so much I'm sitting at a desk and I have this paper and pencil and I'm bored and I don't like what I'm learning because I'm bored. I want you to be engaged with your learning and I really think that Kibo is an excellent way to incorporate that fun and a, a concrete information like coding that they can do great things with. It does seem like a lot teaching um, young students coding, but if we can teach them more than just how to gaze at the screen and to be able to build what's running on the screen, then we can build that connection to go to a more technological future because that's where we're headed anyway. This is teaching our students how to think, how to process information, how to manipulate information, and how to build upon what they know in order to get to what they want to know. So for a five-year-old, the world is full of possibilities. And you want to try everything. You want to do things. You don't want to be told what to do. You want to try it on your own because you can be very stubborn when you're five. And that's actually good quality. When young children are coding, you usually hear, I did it. Yes, I did it. They feel proud about what they created. They you also hear, it was hard. It was hard. And that's what you want. Life is not easy and learning is hard. And so the more tools that we can give children for creativity, for expression, for problem solving, the better we are because they want those things.